Hey friends, do you feel stuck in your writing and you're not sure where to start? Did you know that you can become a better writer without writing a word? I understand when you look at that blank screen or piece of paper, your mind goes blank and you feel like you have nothing to write about. Hey friends, I'm Rochelle Shelley Damer and I help struggling writers get their thoughts down on paper for 25 years. So now I'm trying to help more people achieve their writing goals while I live my own creative writing life. I witness this struggle to write time and time again in my classroom. I know that writing is a challenge, but it's a dream for many. So today I'm going to discuss ways to improve your writing without writing a word. If you think this might be helpful to you, please like and subscribe to support my channel so I can continue to bring you ways to help you with your writing life that I'm doing myself. So yes, without writing a word. I know you say, Shelly, how is that possible? I have to tell you, it is possible. I'm sharing ideas with you from my own research. And it's an article that I read in 2000 that I loved. And it was written by author Chandra Bell. Yes, it's an old article, but the information is still relevant. Of course, we all know that writing on a schedule is the best practice, but you also need time to gather information and build your foundation of knowledge. So the first way she says to improve your writing is to have a reading life. When you're reading, you're internalizing vocabulary, how sentences are created and building your foundation of knowledge. It's hard to be a writer if you're not reading. Therefore, please start a writing and reading life. When you decide on what genre you want to write, then you need to start reading those types of books because this practice helps you learn how that genre is written. I attended an online webinar for children writers and the presenter who is a published author herself, she said that we needed to read a hundred children's books to improve our writing and reading life. See, she suggested that we evaluate books and learn from these writers. The next way to improve your writing without writing a word, Bill says, is to walk. She says that this exercise will get your circulation going and deliver oxygen to your brain, clearing it of that incessant mind chatter. She believes that thinking too much can kill that writing spark. Also, this allows you the opportunity to be observant of your surroundings and be ready to snatch up some inspiration. One activity that you can do is to try and describe what you see. Using a writing pad or your phone, just start brainstorming and thinking of the ways to describe what you see using vivid verbs and concrete nouns. When writing descriptively, using these parts of speech will help you write more descriptively. You'll have that vivid descriptive language. The next way to improve your writing without writing a word is to actually talk about your writing. I think I had the hardest time with this one. I think that I had maybe imposter syndrome and I had wanted to write for so long that when I actually started writing on a regular basis, it didn't seem real. Miss Bill says that your writing exists the moment you have an idea. She suggests that you use every opportunity to discuss your work, including seeds of new stories, your current projects, and your frustrations. And there will be frustrations, let me tell you. But don't let this be an excuse to give up. When you are creating, you will have good days and bad days, but hang in there. The next way is to just be quiet and observe. Listen, what's going on around you? What sounds do you hear? 
Look at body language of those around you. Can you describe how a person moves their hair or scrunches up their nose as they smell something bad? Our smile as they smell something good that invokes beautiful memories of days gone by. You can do this. The last one is so important in your writing life, and that is to network. Find a way to meet and talk to other writers. I have fallen in love with free online webinars. The community of writers is wonderful, and in these forums you can ask questions or just discuss your fears or frustrations with other writers who may have the same concerns as you. Since the pandemic, there has been an explosion of online resources. Please take advantage of these resources, these opportunities to learn more about your craft. Many of these resources are free and available to any budding or experienced writer. I really love these five ways to improve our writing life without writing a word. Thank you, Ms. Chandra Bill, for reminding us of these wonderful ways to build our writing life. Let me tell you, in my next video, I will share more tips from Ms. Bill to help you live a more creative life. If you're trying to get your writing life off the ground and want a more creative life, please like and subscribe to Shelley's Creative Life. See you next time, friend. Bye.